dear students welcome to our class on a micro meteorology of crops wind four okay in today's class we are going to uh, cover wind four here uh, uh, i would like to uh, discuss with you uh, the basics of uh, uh, the roughness parameter that is uh, z0 and uh, the zero plane displacement d with reference to uh, shelter belts okay a an example of uh, shelter belts uh, we take uh, in other words you know we take uh, uh, practical uh, application of uh, z0 and uh, d actually once again i am extremely delighted to inform you that uh, where uh, d plus z0 okay uh, height is there uh, with reference to particular orchard crop there uh, the maximum momentum is absorbed that is the height uh, above which uh, the logarithmic wind profile holds good below that you know it won't hold good it is in the orchard it is in the orchard on the surface however however and however my extensive work uh, on the orchard crops in the coastal areas uh, had given me immense satisfaction that uh, uh, putting some weights uh, of uh, uh, stones okay uh, boulders in other words around the plantation crops and supporting the plantation crops uh, where z0 plus d okay at the height of z0 plus d what is uh, d i told you several times monteith uh, and several workers you know 0.7 h okay so what is uh, uh, z0 uh, uh, the, what is uh, roughness parameter that is uh, z0 z0 is 10% uh, of the height what is uh, d d that is the uh, zero plane displacement so 10% plus 0.7 h almost 80% of the height of the orchard crop there there and there only maximum momentum is absorbed of course it is also uh, related to ri richardson number that we i discuss with you now in this class uh, uh, richard number mu in oco length okay so those two also i would like to give you some basics of it before i go for applications with them. a model wind break now please write uh, two three important points uh, which would appear in your exams so whenever i say now before that uh, uh, try to understand that in this class we are trying to understand uh, uh, what exactly uh, is the application of uh, our knowledge so far in the micro meteorology of crops wind three uh, lectures now first uh, in the last class i tried to give you or the definition of fetch f e t c h fetch last class i told okay now it is the distance fetch is the distance from the surface okay where we wanted to measure the fluxes inside a crop okay particular inside the crop we i cannot take an infrared thermometer yesterday class as also i told i cannot take an infrared thermometer very close to the leaf and then measure so for every measurement in the micrometrology there is a fetch that is the fetch in other words you know the surface the edge of the surface from where we have to uh, measure the fluxes okay that is the facility in my book um, technology and agriculture metrology had given it took a good definition of it and the narration also had given that please have a class once again in addition to yesterday's class now see once again for your uh, academic interest the horizontal axis what is the fetch this may come in the form of a bit in the jrf or srf 50 50 possibility the horizontal extent of a field the horizontal extent of a field okay a field or required or needed to characterize uh, the instrument characterize okay we wanted to characterize uh, some field so what is the the instrument height where we should keep the instruments uh, that also is known as fetch f e t c h please uh, refer my book and again here uh, i would like to discuss with you for one or two in two one or two lines the richardson number richardson number r i and moin okay l okay moin oko length 
actually uh, richardson number is uh, a function of course uh, how the stability how the neutral how the instability or okay uh, lapse rate super adiabatic conditions uh, under those conditions uh, how the buoyant forces uh, okay respond to frictional forces frictional forces of the surface buoyant forces okay you know usually the eddies uh, enlarge 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 during the daytime they just try to contract contract by night time they collapse in the absence of thermal energy so with this uh, important point i would like to impress upon you here is a richardson number is useful for what uh, for stability stability of the atmosphere okay otherwise you know when we are why we need stability in the wind we are discussing wind you know so stable stable conditions are required okay other than stable conditions we have the equation no problem when stable or neutral conditions the logarithmic wind profile or profiles of the wind how the average wind speed okay uh, changes with height you know they perform very well only above the crop canopies or on the free okay soil surface simple one like stability analysis in in analyzing the stability okay uh, both the richardson number and moin wobko length okay it is an advanced for the benefit of the teachers a uh, moin wobko length but for the students uh, the richardson number is enough that much i would like to say now please write an important bit this is the most important bit and uh, based on this uh, uh, bit only based on this what i learned around 35 years back from professor jail montis university of nottingham so tan born in the lab for you okay so i have uh, worked extensively and developed the technology for the farmers in the orchards how to protect the orchards of 2025 years uh, which gives farmer every day 4 5000 rupees okay that's why please write this bit the roughness length the roughness length please write the roughness length z0 when added to zero plane displacement when added to zero plane displacement d okay represents the height represents the height at which the wind speed would be zero represents the height at which the wind speed okay the, the wind speed would be zero zero that's what very very interesting now so the zero plane displacement is the level at which the momentum is uh, apparently absorbed okay momentum is apparently absorbed now so next important bit you please write here very very interesting thing actually the richardson number uh, uh, please write this one first i will tell you richardson number is based on the it is based on the magnitude of thermal production of turbulence the magnitude of uh, okay thermal production of turbulence air has got turbulence here here it is turbulent air okay here okay so here i will tell after 2 minutes from now so the thermal production of turbulence how and then why this bit will come please right why thermal production of turbulence is generated it is because basically it is because according to richardson number r r now when hot and light air hot and light air okay is uh, okay hot and lighter air is capped by cool cool heavy wind cool heavy wind it is capping the hot and lighter wind this bit will come in grf cool winds are heavier hot winds are lighter oh, that bit but as far as uh, SRF is concerned. This bit will come. Uh, Richardson number is a function of uh, these two. For what to produce thermal, thermal turbulence. Thermal. That bit will come hundred percent. Take it for granted. Now here. So um, this is uh, the thing. Before I go to real application of these uh, things. Once again, to sum up what we have discussed so far. The A roughness parameter Z0 plus the zero plane displacement D, 
when you go to your orchard, when you go to your crop of even 90 centimeters, even 50 centimeters, it is the height at which maximum turbulence, maximum, uh, maximum momentum is absorbed. It is the height where the wind velocity becomes zero. So let us go to quickly the application of it. Model, okay, wind break. If you go to a, if you take a model wind break, okay. For first, let us take a porous wind break. I am keeping it like porous wind break. Uh, actually, the solid wind breaks like this. For example, solid wind break. Porous wind break. Porous wind breaks uh, have uh, uh, more uh, uh, positive results uh, as compared to solid uh, wind breaks. Why? That also we discuss only in two minutes. Most important points I will tell. Please write the important points of uh, a model wind break that we discuss uh, further. We discuss in the next class the application of uh, this uh, model uh, wind break. Uh, Please write this bit. Uh, farmers modify microclimate. Farmers modify microclimate for innumerable years by dash irrigation. By irrigating model, uh, by irrigation, uh, microclimate is changed. Second thing, as far as uh, okay, uh, this particular uh, uh, wind breaks. So, in addition to irrigation, wind breaks have been used had been used for innumerable years or you can say since uh, modern agriculture it had become a science before the modern agriculture also wind breaks were in oak if you see the history of uh, agriculture heritage now second thing uh, to arrest the soil erosion to increase the photosynthesis thereby the yields to protect the crops from lodging and also to protect the top portion of the crops from okay uh, we, when force the force of the wind uh, allows uh, the falling of the uh, senescence in other ways you know leaves and also sometimes the fruits even sometimes you know grains also okay so uh, even if it is in the flowering stage the flowers are blown away top portions of the uh, plants so uh, erosion control increasing the photosynthesis thereby the yield and protecting against uh, lodging of the crops and uh, okay top portions of the plant which are economically useful protecting them and uh, decrease of evapotranspiration and uh, uh, okay, sometimes uh, okay, wind breaks uh, are useful in uh, uh, other in in offering the resistance. Wind breaks offer the resistance to aerodynamic RA term. In the aerodynamic, I told I need not, uh, I don't want to uh, repeat once again RA value resistance. Plants offer a resistance. That's why Ohm's law, all those things I discussed with you in the basics of uh, micrometeorology. Uh, uh, that's what. Okay. Now, here the effects of the wind breaks okay, on uh, uh, wind speeds is very important. The, in this class, we, disc we limit in the next one minute to follow only this much. The effect of a wind break. Uh, the effect of a wind break with reference to wind speed. How it controls the wind speed. Please uh, write important point here. Reductions up to 75% of the wind speed is possible. Please write. Reductions up to 75% of the wind speed is possible. So, if a wind break is here, wind is blowing here, okay, from this direction, 75% of the wind speed is reduced. Thereby, thereby, and thereby, first, lodging is not there, soil erosion is not there, photosynthesis is increased, crop yields are increased, like that, like that, the advantage. Second thing, in general, the wind break will decrease the wind speed, okay, uh, at the most, you know, few times the height. You see, this is the height of the wind break. It reduces the wind speed, even though little turbulence is there. It reduces the wind speed few times up to this point, you see. Okay. Sometimes 20 times the height of the wind break, the uh, wind speed is reduced. Say, for example, this is with a height of 15 centimeters. What is the 20 times of 50? 15 centimeters into 20. Okay. Imagine almost 3 meters. 3 meters. Okay. Uh, 15 into uh, I mean 20 times almost that much height uh, the wind breaks uh, reduce the 
wind speed in this class we are confining ourselves to how the wind speed is reduced at what level sir however another important point is please write here okay the reduction effect is greatest please write this bit will come in the uh, sr the reduction effect will be greatest at low levels at low levels means you know, at the height of the uh, wind break from the height of the wind for example this is uh, for your record we can i am saying that it is 1 meter less than 1 meter height okay less than 1 meter height right like this they are, will be excellent even further also it is there so at low levels and uh, porous wind breaks very very important points very technical points i am going to tell please write uh, what is the scientific reason what is the scientific reason between the porous wind breaks like uh, it is porous wind breaks and uh, uh, solid wind breaks please write an important point porous wind breaks work better than solid wind breaks first line you please write scientific reason only one minute i am completing and the small application of my own experiment i will say porous wind breaks work better than solid ones how and why scientific reason solid breaks reduce speed solid breaks reduce the speed close to the barrier close to the barrier okay if it is a solid it is a solid like a wall you have kept it close to the wall only it will reduce solid barrier close to the barrier but invite adding it invites adding okay invites adding of the wind further downward it invites adding further down further down inward okay causing little reduction of wind speed causing a little reduction of wind speed this is the reason they offer the solid uh, wind break they generate the adding so the distance is reduced now second thing is with reference to porous porous barriers sir on the other hand please write porous barriers like this okay porous barriers another example my own experiment i will tell porous barriers on the other hand let enough wind they allow enough wind this is the porous they let the more wind into the other side okay windward leeward side on the leeward side enough wind through them to lessen the turbulence in case of solid please remember this bit will come in the tough bits this will be asked in the solid wind breaks what will happen the turbulence is increased close to the solid wind break when porous wind break is the turbulence is reduced okay and uh, the wind speed effect stresses further 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 so a porous wind break uh, will have okay micro meteorological uh, uh, modifications uh, uh to a greater extent uh, as compared to solid so here uh, just i would like to give last example my own experiment uh, in determining the ratio of uh, uh sunflower intercropped with uh, groundnut again i will tell sunflower intercropped with the groundnut how many rows we should go for okay sunflower acts as a porous barrier sunflower acts as a porous barrier no so spacing is 45 cm okay sometimes we cover such an even 60 cm also 45 is optimum now groundnut groundnut 30 30 in between the rows 10 30 into 10 so how many rows of groundnut we should go in uh, sunflower uh, crop row crop okay intercropping sunflower intercropped with groundnut the experiment result was 1 is to 6 for every one row of uh, uh, sunflower six rows of groundnut was found to be optimum under 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 what the semi arid condition under uh, uh, humid conditions uh, one row less that is in the coastal area this was the thing that i would like to share with you thanking you for patient hearing learning zero plane displacement reference barometer and wind breaks thank you thank you thank you